Hey, you guys. I'm here to show you two couch patches that are the same. Basically the same. And, yeah. See? One's got brown eyes. They're basically twins. Yeah. I want to show you what they look like underneath their head. Not taking them apart. You know, dismantling them, whatever. Whatever how you say it. I'm just showing you underneath their hair. Okay, she's got brown eyes. Her outfit's a little bit, you know, <laughs> questionable. It's falling, falling apart. That's how I received her with a falling apart outfit. At least they should have put some more elasticity in the back. I might try to do that myself. Um, maybe put a tie back there. You know, do the hem. I don't know. Or maybe just get her new outfit. I don't know, because the outfit's kind of old, so just get a new outfit. Yep, here's my one of brown eyes. Basically have twins, um, and here's this other one with blue eyes. One of her eyes were messed up, so I fixed it. Um, what kind of paint do you say I use? Um, you want to use some of that puffy paint? I'm not sure if it's called puppy. I think it is. Um, I have the paint over there in the in the um bag, but I really can't get them get it for you because I got nothing on underneath. It's just my nightgown, and it just might you know come up. Anyways, I took her ponytail out. She had ponytails, right? I took it out because I want to. Clean her hair a little bit, just combing it with my hair. I mean, with my hands. I'm <laughs> sorry, with my hands, just combing it and just to get out the, you know, fuzzes and then re put um her hair back in ponytails. But I won't use this because that's what's tied around her, her hair. I'll be using these. If these don't work, I'll go get some some bigger ones. But anyways, they're not rooted. You know, underneath. <laughs> this is what their head looks like underneath. Alright, if you ever want to see what these kind of cloth cabbage patches look like underneath. No no hair rooted on underneath. I don't know what they did right here. Um, maybe it was to shape her head. I don't know. But they got some kind of needle with some thread here. I don't know. Maybe it's for head shaping. I don't, I don't know. But there's some up here, too. There's three places where they sewn. Right in there. So, yeah. And then these are her. This is her hair. Uh, <clears throat> it's pretty cool how they, how they made these cabbage patches. These cloth cabbages. These cloth cabbages. Cabbage patch dolls, I mean. Anyways. And then they sewn up in here. I think they just did it by straps. They fold them over, then they sewed it in here like that. It's pretty tight, tightly sewn in there. Yeah, I don't know if it's done by machine or hand. No, I think it's done by machine. It's sewn in there pretty tight. Yeah. Um, I don't even know how they did it. If they did it for after it was stuffed or maybe before it was stuffed. I would like to see how they how they made these um the cloth ones, you know. I'm gonna have to redo her hair with the the on this side too because yeah, this came out. So I'm just going through her hair and cleaning it. Yeah, I redid the eyebrows too. With puffy paint too. Yeah. They're a little bit bigger, but I redid the eyebrows. Um not for resale. Not doing it for resale. Just doing it for myself. Um, yeah. I just want her to look nice. And I also have a surprise for my friend. Um I'm not gonna say what it is. <laughs> hint hint. It might be this one. Yeah. This might be her new cabbage patch doll. And also, um, I'll be sending her some 
cabbage patch dolls with passies. I'm not going to show you what those look like, but if you could see, one of them is in the window for cleaning. You know, you put those Oxy-10 on the face for, you know, ink spots or any kind of weird spots they got in their faces. So, yeah, I'm going to give it at least two more days. Today is Saturday, and there will be Sunday. Yeah. And Monday, so, yeah, I told her it'll take till Monday, maybe. And then if they have not came out, I have another treatment that I do. What is it? Well, I take, um, I don't have it here with me, but I take, you know, a finger file, and I kind of file it just lightly. Then if that will come out. Then I just kind of smooth it out and just kind of leave it there. There's nothing else I can do after that. File in the plastic way. I don't want to file it where it's really dented, you know. I file it and smooth it. Try to get it out the best way I can. And then uh, I'll put some, a little bit of gloss there. Like nail, you know, the clear coat. Just very lightly. Um... Yeah, I'm going to try that. I've never done that, put the gloss. I said I did, but I didn't, actually. But um, I don't know if I'll try that. Um, This is something new I was thinking about doing. Actually, I never tried it. So I don't know if that just makes it too shiny. I'll have to rub it off with um, nail polish remover. Yeah. But otherwise, I'll just send her... Those dolls just the way they are. And one doll I have to change the body because it's like, has like a Caucasian color and like on its face. And then another one has a, and then it has like a orange color for his body. I've got an extra doll body. I'll, I'll change that for it. An extra cabbage patch doll body. Yes, I'll do that. And either that don't look good, I'll use my one that I bought. But I'll use that. I'll clean that body and use that for her, her doll body. I don't care. It's just another catch patch. I really don't need it. I'll give it to her, the doll body. All right. With her doll head. All right, I gotta go. It's past my time limit. Peace out. How do you like my cabbage patch doll I fixed? You know, repaired. Let me know in the comment section. Bye. Peace out.